Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing my April favorites and I swear I just filmed my March favorites. I feel like the only videos I've been doing lately are my monthly favorites videos. It is the weirdest feeling in the world. I don't know where these months are going. It's just crazy, like it needs to slow down a little bit because I just can't grasp all this change happening. But today I'm gonna be showing you my favorite things from the month of April. Like I said, this month whizzed by for me. I don't even know what I did the whole month. Um, I don't know. I don't really, don't really know what happened. It was all kind of a blur, so yeah. On that note, let's just get into the goods. So as many of you know, I work in real estate and I am in my car and on the go all day long, like all day long. I cannot tell you how many miles I've put on my car in the past like two and a half years. You're on the go all the time and sometimes you're working like crazy hours. It's not like a nine to five. So with that being said, I always feel like I need to freshen up for the end of the day. Like a lot of times I'll be showing houses like when other people are getting off work. So it'll be like six or seven before I meet with clients to show them through a house. And at that point in the day, I just feel like my makeup's wearing off. I feel like I need a shower, my hair's gross. So a few weeks ago, I stopped at Victoria's Secret and browsed their perfume section because I'm like, okay, I need something to carry with me that'll make me smell good. A little perfume shower at the end of the day. So I decided to get a rollerball perfume that I could carry with me in my car all the time and just have on me in a pinch. And this is in the scent Bombshell. And I cannot tell you guys how obsessed I am with the smell, oh my gosh, it's so good. I rub this all over my arms, all over my neck, basically everywhere. Um, I've actually been using this as just my daily perfume. This hasn't even been like a refresher at the end of the day. Like I'm putting this bad boy on in the morning. I wish I would have bought a spray bottle of it cause it smells so good. So another like beauty type favorite this month um, has been my Laura Mercier highlighting powder. And as you can see, this is a nice radiant powder and I love, love, love the finish that this gives me. Um, it comes in this nice little compact and it's a really good size too. And I use it literally every day. Um, I've always wanted to get into highlighters and I've always used High Beam. If you're not familiar with High Beam, it's made by Benefit and it's more of like a creamy liquid highlighter. And I love it, I still use it sometimes, but my skin is oily, so I wanted something a little bit more powdery. And this by Laura Mercier has been incredible for me. I put it on my cheekbones, I put a little down like my nose, and then I'll put some on my inner eyes too. And it is just incredible. It stays on all day long. Doesn't make my skin oily. It really pops too when the light hits it and magic happens. Um, I love it. I bought this like six months ago, I think. And I feel like I haven't even made a dent in it. And I use it every single day. And it goes on so smoothly. And it just totally accentuates your look. Um, so I've been really happy with it. So I've strangely been on a huge sunglasses kick lately. I never ever used to like sunglasses. Like my whole life, I thought they were so ugly. They all looked the same to me. They looked terrible on me um, and I just hated them. Even though they're good for your eyes, they protect them. I just hated them. I never wore sunglasses. And then like two years ago, I just started to casually ease into liking them. My mom got me some Ray-Ban Wayfarers like four years ago and those were like my go-to. Everyone has those, they look good on everyone and I really love them and I still wear them a lot but as I started to like sunglasses more and more I kind of wanted to expand my horizons. So in the month of April I went to Macy's and I bought myself some more Ray-Bans. I actually thought I was gonna go for something like a little bit more feminine, but I tried these on and I ended up loving them. I think they do look a little bit different from the Wayfarers. What really sold me on these was how thin the arm or whatever you call this thing, I never know what to call this, 
but I loved how slim this was. I am so weird about thick, over-detailed, over-embellished sunglasses. It's a weird quirk of mine. I don't like too much detail on my sunglasses. So I loved how thin this was. I love that it's metal. And I really liked the shape of these two. So love these. So my next favorite is a fashion favorite and I feel like I've already kind of passed my window of being able to wear it this season, but it's not a big deal because I'm excited to wear it in the fall. And it is this Topshop black leather moto jacket. I don't know the best way to show this. Let me put it on. So that's what the jacket looks like on. It has these really nice sleeves and a lot of good zipper details too. I'm usually kind of picky about how detailed things are, but I liked how clean cut this was. It has a lot of zippers and hardware and stuff, but it wasn't overdone, and I thought it was done tastefully too. I really like this. It wasn't too expensive either, and I feel like I am gonna wear this with everything. So as you probably know, I'm a huge jewelry fan and I can never seem to get enough jewelry. I'm always adding to my collection and it's an expensive habit, but it's a good one. So I went to the Kendra Scott store earlier in April and I got to check out their brand new summer line. And let me tell you, it was gorgeous. I wanted everything. And I think it might be my favorite Kendra Scott collection so far. Everything was really delicate and feminine and it seemed like stuff that you could wear with all types of different pieces. There were really like simple chains and chokers and I loved all the metals and materials that they used and I actually ended up getting these hoops and I have never ever been a hoops person. My mom will tell you, I used to wear them in like grade school but once I got to high school and college, I never ever wore hoops. I actually despised them. I can't tell you why. Now that I'm like a little bit older, I really am starting to like them again. And what sold me on these is that these actually have little charms on them. And I've never seen that before in a hoop earring. And last but not least in my April favorites are these Calvin Klein mules. And I don't know if I've explained this before. I think I talked about it on my blog, but I have been in love with mules for so long. I think I actually had a pair when I was younger. They were from that brand Mia, if anyone remembers that, as like a little girl's brand. That was like the best shoe brand in the world growing up. But I had a pair of like mule type clog things. I always loved them. And I've just been obsessing over them the past couple of years and never got a pair. And then I got this pair for Easter. And like I said, they're Calvin Klein. And it's kind of weird because I was at Macy's and I had seen these and I wanted to try them on and just buy them. But I was in such a rush that day that I literally had to like whiz through Macy's, return something and then race back to work. So I kind of like eyed them, thought they were really cute and then forgot about them. Then a few weeks later was Easter and I opened my Easter basket and the Easter Bunny, AKA my mom, had gotten me these mules that I was in love with. She was obviously really happy because she did really good and got me something that I wanted that she didn't even know about. And they're just really, really sleek and simple. So that's everything for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I feel like my next video is probably gonna be my May favorites, but I do have some videos planned for in between that. And I'm really excited because this is my favorite time of year and I feel like my video ideas are flowing right now. So I'm planning on doing some really fun stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.